Hi, this is Russell from InWorld AI. This will be a short tutorial on how you can utilize our web SDK to import a character into your own React based app. This would be useful if you were trying to create your own website based on an InWorld character that you have already made and implemented on the InWorld Studio. Please ensure that you have the following software installed on your computer. You'll need Node.js, at least a version 16 or higher. You'll need NPM, Yarn, and a Git. The first thing you'll do is clone the SDK source code into your product directory. You can do this by going to the Enroll Web SDK and grabbing the code clipboard copy link. And back in your terminal, you can paste this here as a Git clone, and then the link that you just copied. When that's done, you can take a look at the examples folder. And inside the folder, you'll see a generate token and a chat file. You will need to run both of these applications to chat with your character. The first application you'll run is the generate token one. So you'll do CD generate underscore token, and then use yarn to install the relevant dependencies. Now it'll be important to set up the environment variables. You'll want to copy the .env file from the sample. And this will create a new .env. You'll then vim into that .env file where you'll be able to update some of these variables. You'll need these three key secret and scene in order for this application to run. Back in your studio, in the workspace, you'll want to select the character that you want to work with and import. Click on more and then copy the character ID for integrations. That will be the scene ID. And that goes in the inworld scene variable for this .env file. Then you'll go to the integrations page where you'll see your API key and secret. You can create a new key or use an existing one. You'll want to copy your key into the relevant variable field. And of course the secret as well. Save the file. And then try to run the generate token application with the yarn start. The second component you'll need will be the chat application. You'll want to CD into the inworld web SDK examples folder again, but in the chat folder this time. You'll do another installation for dependencies. If you don't already have React scripts globally, you'll have to install that by doing the following. With a yarn global add React scripts. This will install the relevant dependencies that you need. Another yarn install will give you the rest of the dependencies required. Once that's done, we can start this application. It might take a little bit of time on the local host. For this first run, it might take a little bit longer, but you'll see this page come up. These variables you've already pasted in the previous .env file. So let's try chatting with our character. As you can see, you're able to interact with your character through the browser now. Thank you for watching and learning more about InWorld. If you have any questions, make sure to visit our Discord server. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe.